<clears throat> good day to start off the second day in California, I guess. Out here in Anaheim still. Left the hotel and we came to Target to get a bunch of ones and whatnot because you want to ride buses and stuff, we gotta get ones, but unfortunately to get to the Fullerton station I have to do a bunch of connect connections and then I have to go to the Fullerton station to take the train to Union Station. So we're just gonna kinda cheat and take the uh, take an Uber out there because I'm really tired of transferring a bunch of times. I'm just sick and tired of LA. I'm like, ah, oh, get me out of here. This place is just kicking my butt. I've been here, I don't even know if I, you can say, it. I haven't even been here 24 hours and I'm already like done with it, so I'm ready to head out. Um, yeah, we're gonna go find the trains. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of tracks. They all, uh, they all look like that. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of trains around here. It's one hell of a Union Station. I haven't seen a Union Station this big, except for in uh, DC and uh, New York. It's pretty cool. Holy crap, we actually beat our train here. That was, that's just sad. Our train left. We had an Uber come pick us up within about three, four minutes of leaving. We got all the way out to Los Angeles one. We got out, we went in, went and got our tickets, and now we still beat our train. There's the train coming in. Okay, so it looks like he actually just made us enter the car. It's a lot different. It's a lot different in the southeast for trains aren't as common, y'all. Hauled in, so I'm not really used to this. shortcut and you just say I want to see half the country but I really don't want to travel to it just go to the nearest farm look out and be like yep there it is half the country be done with it <laughs> Alright, so we just got off the train in Santa Barbara. It's a gorgeous city. I have not been here in over a year. I literally came here last June, so I guess it's been pretty damn close to a year. But that's 
actually really interesting. Tops recycling, the bottom is not fascinating. Um, Santa Barbara. One hell of an adventure, man. I'm really excited to be here. I love the place. I love this city. So I go out of my way to normally be a positive person. I really do try. But I just gotta say, I understand why people absolutely hate Amtrak. It's not the it's not the speed or the reliability or any of that stuff. It, it really comes down to just the customer service because I, I get the California Rail Pass. You know, you spend $159. You get to travel the train around California for a few days. That's whatever. That's cool. It's a great idea. But And then I, I get there and I get on the train. The conductor grabs my tickets. He takes the tickets and he looks at the pass. He's like, I need to see your pass. And I go, okay. And then he's like, I need, part of, I need this part of the California Pass. You got to do it on the first day. And I go, okay. Like that sounds 100% normal because I've never done it. Here's the thing, if you have a California pass, you do not let them take your ticket for any reason. Rip it, look at it, you just like glance at it, flash it, and put it away. It's like a badge. You don't let them take it, you don't let them do anything, you just flash it and move on. Because they took it, I didn't think anything of it, I got to Santa Barbara, and I sit down, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go on my next journey. And I go in and talk to them, she's like, I need to see your rail pass, I give them my rail pass. She says, where's the other part? And I go, well, the conductor took it. And then she just goes on this rampage. And I mean, I'm let's be honest, it's not their fault. It's not the individual employee's fault. But she's, you know, ugh, it just, she has like one of the standard government employees. I know Amtrak's corporate technically, but it's really just a government company, be honest with ourselves. And they do the standard government thing where they just don't care. They're just rude and they just, she's just snippy. And it pissed me off because it's like, look, I purchased a rail ticket for $318, and she's like, well, you don't have the pass, you can just purchase another one. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, if I'm purchasing a rail pass, it means I can't afford the normal passes, can't afford to take the train normally, so do I look like I have money for $318 for a new freaking pass? And she's like, well, the train comes back at 7 o'clock, which, mind you, is four hours from now. And she said, you gotta be back here for the two minutes the train's here. Find the conductor and ask him for the ticket, assuming he even has it still because he takes so many tickets that he might not keep them all day. He might just get rid of them by the end of the trip because it does get to the end in Goleta and it's done. And I gotta go find him and I gotta get my ticket. And she said if I don't, then I either lost my pass because it's considered a lost pass and it's tough to get on me, or I have to go out of my way and I have to get him in four hours, which means I can't just sit here for four hours, but at the same time, I can't go anywhere because it would take too long because I don't have a car. And she just said, well, go screw yourself. And it's just like, you know, even United Airlines doesn't have this bad customer service. And you know, they, they're pretty bad. I mean, I'm not even talking about ripping people off planes. I'm just saying they're horrible. I've never had a good experience with United. So if they would think that's ridiculously extreme, you got to understand Amtrak just, just is the worst because it's the most government-run Thing you can imagine this is probably why people don't like traveling in america and i don't blame them i i'm just extremely frustrated because i'm told to ruin my entire afternoon waiting for an effing train to get a ticket otherwise i either had to purchase a new one or screw yourself which basically means i can't get up to california where my grandfather is and i can't get up or i'm sorry i can't get up to San Francisco where my grandfather is and at the same time I can't get out of the state where my ticket for my plane is because it's in San Francisco going back to Orlando so I'm going to be stuck in, San, in, in uh, Santa Barbara because I don't have any money I don't have enough money to get food for the next week let alone buy two more passes but she's nonchalant about it like oh you can just buy another one buy another one who the hell buys another one and she's like well you have to have a paper ticket we're not online what do you mean you're not on a system who does, what company is not on a system? I know mom and pop shops that have a computerized system for everything, that do receipts on a computerized system. Who the hell doesn't do that anymore? Even the, the postal service, which is the most government thing you can think of, is more efficient than this. They, they, everything's online. You can change your address online. Amtrak just says, go to hell. And I just, I almost never want to take a train again. If I didn't have to take a train up there, I would just say, no, I'm done. I furiously hate them. That is insane. That is the worst customer service ever. I just, I literally don't know what to do because I'm stuck here. I don't know, I, I don't have anywhere to go. All right, so we got it figured out. It took a long, ungodly time. The phone representative lady was extremely nice, but it, it just, it took a couple connections on the phone. 
it's a calling and it just took talking again always be polite don't ever get mad i mean i did get a little upset pretty upset at the uh station i didn't say anything horrible but i did just kind of get mad it just because it, it just was a ridiculous scenario and it was just not realistically expected so i just kind of got irritated because mostly just because it's me getting stuck here and that with no money and that's just that's kind of a big scenario and i don't want to do that so you know normally i don't care but that scenario is just like i, I had it you know i couldn't just leave it alone i had to intervene and kind of be a little more uh, aggressive about it i just i had to but you always want to be polite you never want to say anything mean you never swear at people so you should always keep that in mind but good lord it just it was just tiring and i just it we got here at 3 10 it's about 4 10 now we've been i've been sitting here on the grass uh next to the train station um or in the mulch or whatever but i've been sitting here trying to figure it out and i finally got it figured out so it took an hour so i'm just saying if you ever do what i do and you get the california pass just be extremely careful don't take don't lose the ticket they literally will not help you at all their policy says if you lose a ticket you're done but i didn't even lose mine so that's why it got really bad i kind of get the losing ticket policy yeah there's the internet so if you lose a ticket it's kind of like seriously but because they id you for it so you know you're like well if you lose a ticket why does it matter that much but that's their policy but when they take it from me that just takes it to a new level so i you got to figure it out i'm just really tired and i'm, I'm kind of hungry and i just want to get fat before i go over and figure it out now i gotta figure out the bus schedule where i'm at where to go so this will be fun Back memories. I love these old neighborhoods. These, these neighborhoods are extremely old. Entertaining. When I used to um, used to park here, you know, you got to learn how to parallel park. So not only did I master parallel parking, with a truck with a tow from the back, because it's like three inches, I can't see, but it's metal and it will rip right into the fiberglass. It's pure steel ripping into fiberglass. The steel will win hands down. It's not if I'm going slow. But beyond that, because of that, it's uh, you got to learn parallel park, and you have these, these you know, have the, all these rules and regulations. You have these signs. Come here, but you have these signs. You can't, you gotta pay attention to the signs. You can't park in front of a fire hydrogen, you can't park in front of a mailbox, you can't park in front of a, 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 a driveway, you can't park in front of a lot of things, which makes parking nearly impossible. We used to at the park. We'd have 15 people at one time try to go to our house, so this place was, this place was filled up beyond belief, and it was really engaging.